And in this new program we call Artemis, named after Apollo's twin sister, we will in fact send the next man and the first woman to the south pole of the moon. We talk about schedule, and people seem to think that that means pressure. But we are not repeating Apollo. This time when we go to the moon, he has declared it will be sustainable. In other words, we're going to go to the moon to stay. So when Orion goes to the gateway, the purpose is to get the astronauts not just to the gateway, but... Hundreds of millions of tons of water ice on the south pole of the moon have now been discovered. Hundreds of millions of tons. That's life support. It's water to... To, to drink, it's air to breathe, but hydrogen and oxygen is also rocket fuel. It's the first time I uh, ever thought about flying to the moon was when John F. Kennedy said that he wanted to put a man on the moon and return him safely to Earth. We did it. We, humanity, we humans have left the surface of this dinky little planet and gone elsewhere. This, this place is, is history in the making and, it, and it, it's not over yet. There were several physical changes that are much different than they are today. We have, which is pretty much what we call a clean pad today. In those days, we had a launch umbilical tower that provided the commodity services. Crawler's over 50 years old, still operates just like it has operated for over 50 years, and uh, it's ready to take the next program to the moon. And so everybody would normally be facing that way, T0, the rocket lifts off, and they swing this way to get a view of it, other than watching it on their little eight inch black and white television set. Uh, and the, being in the firing room for the Apollo 11 uh, was obviously the most exciting, exhilarating moment in my life. Uh, you had to make sure that all of the parts in these vehicles, down to the tiniest transistor, was working perfectly. And that was what our job was. And a lot of times, they didn't work, and you had problems, and you had to troubleshoot and find out what they were, and re-engineer them or fix them. Well, so I see consoles that will have responsible engineers. Uh, executing procedures. Yeah, in fact, I did back in Apollo. I said, well, okay, we proved we can go to the moon now. Yeah, well, let's, let, let's find out more about those other planets out there. Where do those views come from? What who needs to see them in the What comments? All those things when I came into the program, 
My program is responsible for um, developing the ground systems that will support the SLS rocket and the Orion spacecraft. And right now we're in the middle of our testing, um, our verification, our validation, ensuring that our ground systems meet the requirements that they fully support those flight vehicles for critical operations. It always starts here in the transfer aisle, and we will continue that legacy and that process as we stack our uh, SLS rocket here, hopefully next year.